Hello, thank you for joining me today. I remember a day when I was driving on a hot sunny day and the highway was, you know, crystal clear and quite free. Um, I noticed something, something caught my attention and it was the um, scene that had to do with uh, like a water pool right in front of me. I'm sure many of us have seen that. It's called a mirage where you keep driving and you think there's going to be like a, you're going to run into um, like a pool of water just <laughs> ahead of you. And it usually happens on a bright sunny day. Um, friends, do you know that lies are just like mirage? They are not true. They look so inviting. They look like a pool of water. They look like a um, cool pool of water in a sunny day. And they are just lies. You know, the devil is a father of all lies. In the book of John chapter 8 verse 44, he said something that many of us need to hide in our hearts. This is Jesus when he was, when he was speaking about the devil. He said something about when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. I don't know what lies you've heard about yourself. I don't know what mirage you're seeing in your life. The point is, it's not real. It's not true. Either is in your marriage, in your health, whatever issue that the enemy is presenting to you, a lie is a lie. If it doesn't stand and align itself with God's truth, with the word, then it's a lie. Okay? Whether it is in your Christian faith, perhaps the enemy is, is telling you you can't go any further, you can't be any better than this, you can't be, you can't probably grow in faith. Whatever lie the enemy has been saying to your heart, it's time for you to shed all those lies. You now see the source of all those lies, the source of every lie that we believe or we, we try to believe or attempt to believe is from the enemy. Now that we've caught the enemy, we've exposed the enemy for those lies, it's now up to us to find out the sources and how we let those lies into our lives. How are you letting those lies into your life? Is it through social media? Is it through vain comparison? Is it through um, relentless pursuit? Relentless pursuit of something that it's <laughs> that it's like a mirage. Okay, God's word is final. God's whatever God says about your life is final. It's true, and I want to encourage you today to find the truth of God's word concerning every situation that is bothering your heart. I can't wait for us to dive in tomorrow and see and study more about how to overcome the lies of the enemy using the word. Remember to get all these resources for free at purposefulandmeaningful.com and search for this study, How to Overcome the Lies of the Enemy. Thank you and God bless you.